there's something we haven't seen for a little bit. The sunrise. You notice the bright spot's a little further south than it was last time you got to see it. It was over here. Well, it's been pulling this stuff where it decides to start raining about 3 o'clock in the morning and just flat out dump. Instead, it did it all night long. It quit about 4. Interesting cloud up there. There's actually quite a bit of thin clouds and, and blue. Let's see if we can even see what it says. Hey, I think it says four inches. No, almost. Three and three quarters. Um, trying to think when I fixed that because I just sealed the bottom of it up the other day. I think it was either Saturday or Sunday I fixed that one. So that's what we got since then. And then I'm not sure when the other one got dumped. Mom dumped it the other day. Of course she dumped it. And I think it was the other afternoon and by the time I went in the house that night there was a half inch in it. Hell yeah, my throat's feeling wonderful this morning. The way the weather has been. The sad thing is, it's staying right in the mid 40s, but it feels colder. Ah, this one's almost at three. Oh, we got an inch overnight. Kind of nice to come out and driveway's solid this morning and water's not running across it. Just a little breeze. Ain't so bad. Maybe a little better view from here. So, okay. That's enough viewing today. I'll get you something to watch later. Hey look, I found my respirator. Don't get it out very often, but I think I'm going to squirt enough paint this morning that I'm going to use it. And I'm going to be kind of where I can't get away from it. There's the front end with some gloss on it. I think the neck's going to get at least three coats. Hopefully get some of that roughness to cover in. And couldn't get the enough of the same paint to finish up so I'm still saving what I had for the top coat oh apparently I totally spaced right there hmm I guess I'll start there so I can come back on it when I get done with that hmm didn't think I did that so anyway number one stopped on our way out this morning and looks like we're gonna use some rust oleum that's good paint too we used to use rust oleum years ago when we were building equipment because that's what we could get local and it was decent used to get it in the quartz and in the gallons but it doesn't keep a long time that way even the the rattle cans so i'm going to use up all the rust oleum because there's enough solids in it it seems like they kind of quit working after a while I mean, the, the do it best stuff, that stuff we've had on the shelf here for, I mean, three or four years. And, you know, the ball might get stuck. So you beat it on your handle a couple of times, get the ball broke loose and shake it up. And usually you don't have any trouble. Once in a while you get a chunk, plug a tip. So that's why I save tips. There's one right there. And actually the Rust-Oleums have the same tip this time around. Hmm. But I usually keep a can lid full of tips those are all brand new tips never had nothing through them because once you're using one i mean it, the tip doesn't care how many cans it sprays out as long as it's compatible with the can so and we take them off before we throw the can in the scrap barrel you know, where there's no plastic in the scrap other than the tube that's inside the can so anyway thought i'd show you that quick i'm gonna put my mask back on and tell this fly to leave me alone because he keeps buzzing my ears 
and I'm gonna fog some more paint on. Having to do the little easy jobs now. You're just running a little wire wheel over the metal, get the rust broke off. She just washed the tanks with soap and water and a scrub brush. A little bit of paint is left on the tanks, it's down tight. I'm not gonna worry about it. And uh, she gets done there, we'll get some paint on that. And, 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 oh my gosh. You kind of see there's a line there because this part's got a layer of dust on it. Really good layer of dust for everything we do in here. Yeah, doesn't show up on the video as well, but you can see a little difference. There over there. There you can see it. It's not that it's not as shiny, it's that it's covered with dust. Which is fine. This is on its way to getting cured. There's a few runs. Kind of see them there. I know I got some here because trying to get sprayed up underneath. Made a couple. Um, actually got more coats in here than I was on here than I was going to do on the front, but realistically, the neck and the yoke, they're the ones that take a beating. And see if we can. Yeah, you can still see. The spots that were underneath, but they're not near as noticeable as they were. It's not a new machine either, so or a new frame. Um, back part of it, I mean, we still got a lot of work to do on top of that. Probably still got to, I don't know, bolt something in or weld something up onto the neck for holding the cab, that kind of thing. So is what it is but that's our paint job the only thing I didn't crawl I didn't get on the floor and look up underneath the very front edge of the frame from the blocks forward or the underneath of that cross member but I sprayed up there enough that it ought to be good all this I did get underneath and look up and do and hopefully I got enough in sorry try not to touch it Hopefully I got enough fog in up there that we don't end up having rust trails later. But if we do, we do. Here's what it is. So kind of the next step is I'm going to get some paint on that radiator. And it can go in. That way we don't take a chance of banging it around out here. And get that cylinder cleaned up. Clean it up and paint it. See if we can find the pins. Put it in just so there's something there. Oh, she says we cut the pins off. I guess I gotta make new pins then. No big deal, they're just one inch. It was rusted and we couldn't get it, so you have to cut it. Yeah, I don't remember. I just remember we got it all apart. You know, kinda like all those parts. Not everything that's on that came off here, but almost all of that did. No, all of it did. No, it Except didn't. For yeah, there's brake parts and there's Damn and there's a diesel nozzle and a hydraulic coupler. They didn't come off of it. No, that, that nozzle leaks. Everything in there came off of it though. And there's some stuff upstairs too. And there's a bunch of other stuff upstairs. And there's a box of electronics upstairs that's going to go on it. And there's a box of electronics right there too that came off of it. <clears throat> Pretty sure that the two sets together are not compatible. There's also a five-gallon bucket full of the valves and stuff that were with this. I'm not even sure what all's here. Ah, pressure sensor. Never know. I might need that. Oh. Anyway, maybe get you some more later. Maybe not. If not, hey, this will be the end of it. You won't see any more. You'll be done. So, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. You know, like I say, they say it's free. Yeah, that tank under there, that's going to get cleaned up more, too. It's already been cleaned up. It's just been laying around, so it's got to get cleaned up. we got to figure out where we're going to mount it. But like I just told number one a couple of minutes ago when she said something, I said, that's all for later. That's when we start drilling holes and mounting stuff. Because that kind of stuff will go on here after the engine's in, after the tranny's in, after the tank's on. Probably after the cab is on, then we'll figure all that stuff up.
And I mean, I, that thing could feasibly go up here. It's not like there's not room for it. That way, if it pukes, it'll puke all over the front of the radiator, right? And we'll get the fender on. Still need to get a wheel underneath the front. The one I got that has a good tire on, it's a smaller diameter shaft, and it's got flange mount bearings, and this had pillow blocks, so I got to make a bracket or get a different set of bearings. That's been kind of the plan is get that tire up here and see what I got to do. And oh, look, look, oh my gosh, she's hiding. Number two just got home from working at the winery. Yeah, look at that, look at that. You don't work. <laughs> she sits there and looks pretty. Yeah, whatever. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. There's more. That's done. Cylinders cleaned up and painted. I just made two pins. So that's ready to go on. Hopefully tomorrow we can get something else done.